Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really super quick Tuesday tip for you and I want to talk about discipline. So as parents, we have to discipline and sometimes it's really hard to figure out a way that actually not only works for your children but works for you as well. I know for me personally, um, spanking doesn't work. It's too hard on me emotionally so I can't do it um, to my kids. It just, it doesn't work for me. And also timeouts don't work anymore. Um, they worked when my kids were much younger but they don't work anymore. Um, for reference, my kids are seven and eight now. Even at seven and eight, they still need to be disciplined, obviously. Um, I, I, don't wanna, I don't wanna raise kids that don't know right from wrong. I don't wanna raise children who don't follow rules. I don't wanna raise children who are just not disciplined. So it's really important to me that I discipline my children and that I keep them on track all the time. So I actually picked this tip up from Kaylee's school teacher. Now she uses this app, it's called Class Dojo, and it looks like this, this is mine. Um, and it is just an area where you can take and give points to each child. So she uses it for the entire class. She sends home a dojo report as well as I can check it on my phone daily. I can look at it and see how Kaylee's is doing throughout a day and everything. And um, it gives reasons why you're giving points and why you're taking points away. And it works so well at school. Um, Kaylee's is not really misbehaved at school at all. Neither of my kids are. But I could see it work for the other kids in her class when I would visit. So I wanted to try to do it at home. So I went to the website, which is www.classdojo.com, and I signed up as a teacher. Now, this is obviously an app that's set up for teachers to use, but I think it's something you can use at home. I've been using it, and I love it. So I signed up as a teacher, and I made my classroom, and I've just called it home, and I just have Kaylee's and Junior in it, you can see here. And, um... I set it up for them. What I did was it gives you a code that you can give your students and parents so that they can keep track of their dojos. I got the app on both of my kids' iPads as well and put in the code so they can keep track of their dojos there. But I also give them a dojo report at the end of the week, like you've earned this many dojos, you're at 100% good behavior or 90% good behavior, your bad behavior was. So I make sure that I talk to them about it. So basically, all I do is I say, okay, let's say Kaylee's, and these are some of the options. Let's say Kaylee's did great at school, which she's been doing great at school today, so I've given her a dojo. Um, I'm not gonna actually take a dojo away because neither of them have gotten in trouble, but it'll, it has an area for needs work, and this is when you would take it away, and it has some stock reasons like no homework, messy, uh, no homework, unprepared, things like that. But you can add your own. So I, I've added things like not awake on time for school, um, whining or yelling, not in the laundry basket, bad behavior at school, messy room, things like that. And, and the same thing with the positive, I've added things there. Um, great work at school is one of them. Getting ready quickly and on time. I'm going to go ahead and give them a dojo for that. Uh, so I've added some things there and literally I keep the sound on so my kids can hear the sound. I don't have to say it anymore but in the beginning I would say alright I'm taking a dojo, alright I'm giving you a dojo. And all I would do, all I do is they hear the sound, when they hear the negative sound they know that they have done something wrong and um, also when you give the feedback it gives you a spot where you can write notes so like my kids can read and they're gonna check in on their dojos. They can look and see, oh, I lost a dojo because I'm not following instructions. And I can write a little note saying, was asked to do so-and-so, did not do it. So they know, and I don't have to say it, I don't have to repeat it. Now, a, a way to make this even more fun, 
I have given them goals. So if they reach by the end of the school year, which <laughs> the kids have um, two and about a half of a week left of school, if they reach 50 dojos by the end of the school year, they get a big summer prize. Now, my kids already get little prizes and things for getting good report cards. Well, they'll get something bigger if they reach the dojos. Now, you could go more smaller um, with the prizes. You could do a weekly prize. I've only been doing this consistently, which is another big thing with discipline. You have to be consistent, which is one of my issues. But Consistently, I've been doing this for maybe three weeks. Um, I did not really do many dojos when I was in New Jersey just because I didn't always have my phone with me, but I did give them dojos here and there when they were very helpful to me. So it's something that works. I definitely recommend it. It's an app. They have it for iPhone and Android. It's free and all you have to do is go to www.classdojo.com. This is not sponsored whatsoever. This is just something that has worked for me, something I picked up, something I picked up from Kaylisa's teacher that has been helpful here at home in disciplining my kids where I don't have to yell or repeat myself a million times. I'm just literally taking and giving dojos and they get rewarded or they get punished. Um, if they're ever in negatives, they will be punished. There are things that I, I will take a dojo away and punish them for, but those are things that don't come up often. That would be something that's dangerous to them or to somebody else. But my kids, like I said, are seven and eight years old. They've got a pretty good grasp on what they can and can't do. They're not really misbehaved, but this is something that really works, so I definitely recommend it. All right, guys, so that is my tip for today, Tuesday. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you have any interesting ways that you discipline your children that you think could be helpful to me. I'd love to start a conversation with you. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I have a goal to reach a 1,000 subscribers by July, and I'm really hoping I could do it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Today for Monday Meals, I have something a little different for you. I actually have everything I ate yesterday.